Hey everyone, and welcome back to another deep dive into political history. Today, we're stepping into the vibrant archipelago of Indonesia to explore the journey of a very intriguing leader, President Joko Widodo. Widely known as Jokowi, this man's rise from a furniture exporter to the highest office in Indonesia is not just inspiring, but it also sheds light on the dynamic political landscape of this Southeast Asian powerhouse. Born on June 21, 1961, in the city of Surakarta, commonly known as Solo, Jokowi was the son of a wood seller. His humble beginnings are a significant part of his appeal. He often shares stories about growing up in a riverside slum, which resonates with many of his supporters today. Education was a stepping stone for Jokowi, who completed his undergraduate degree in forestry at the Gajah Mata University, one of Indonesia's oldest and most prestigious universities. His educational background not only provided him with technical expertise, but also, as we'll see, a profound appreciation for Indonesia's vast natural resources. After university, Jokowi entered the business world, setting up his own furniture company. His venture was successful, exporting furniture worldwide and laying the groundwork for his understanding of international trade and economics. But Jokowi's ambitions extended beyond business. Driven by a desire to influence change directly, he stepped into politics. In 2005, Jokowi's political career took off when he was elected mayor of Surakarta. His approach was unconventional. He was known for his hands-on style, often visiting local communities unannounced to understand their issues firsthand. This approach not only endeared him to the people, but also marked a stark contrast from the political norms in Indonesia. His success in Surakarta led him to the governorship of Jakarta in 2012, where his policies focused on improving public services, tackling corruption, and investing in infrastructure projects like the Jakarta MRT. His tenure in Jakarta propelled him into the national spotlight, setting the stage for his presidential bid. In 2014, Jokowi won the Indonesian presidential election, becoming the first president in the country's history not to come from an elite political or military background. His presidency has been marked by his continued focus on infrastructure, education, and health services. He's also known for his efforts to stabilize Indonesia's economy, improve its environmental policies, and navigate the complex geopolitics of the region. Throughout his rule, Jokowi has faced challenges, including handling national disasters and managing political opposition. However, his down-to-earth style and commitment to reform have maintained his popularity among Indonesians. What's truly fascinating about Yoko Widodo is not just his rise to power, but how he's used his position to effect real change. His story is a testament to the power of resilience, the impact of grassroots leadership, and the evolving nature of political power in the 21st century. That's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed this insight into Joko Widodo's life and leadership, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more historical profiles and political analyses. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.